Okay, so we're talking about benching here. And we're now on page 89 in the Siddur. We spoke about the preliminary prayers of Shira Malais and al Nari's Bavel. We spoke about Mai Machrenim, the after washing, or the washing that happens right before the blessing after meals. And now we're on the second half of page 89 in the Siddur here. You'll notice you've got two columns, the right column and then the shaded left column. And they're under the header Zimun, or invitation. So invitation, that's the translation of Zimun. And so the sages um, uh, explained that when it comes time to recite the blessing after meals, the way to do it, when there's more than, when there are three people or more that eat together, so the way to do it is to do it together communally. And so we call out uh, to everybody that's sitting and eating, it's time to stop eating, it's time to bless, uh, to recite the blessing after meals. And the blessing after meals is obviously a blessing to God. And um, so there's a little bit of responsive reading that we're going to, uh, that we're going to uh, just go through right now. So when it's three people, between three and nine people eating together, we recite the zimun in one way. And when there's more than 10 people, when you have at least a minion of, of, of people eating together, so when there's 10 or more, then we have a little insertion that we'll, we'll get to in a moment. Um, th that's the right column. The left column is virtually identical, except that the left column or the shaded column is for a uh, wedding feast. So after right and good get married, uh, under the chuppah, they recite Sheva Brachas. We'll get to that later. The seven blessings, the seven marriage blessings that are recited. Also, there are the, um, the seven days after the wedding, really it's up to a year after the wedding, that when they eat together with uh, a group of 10, uh, there's a, a party of 10, and there's somebody who had not participated in any of the wedding festivities up to that point, so they can recite another special addition to the uh, blessing after meals. So that's the, the gray column on page 89. Well, let's let's just take a look at the column, the the the, um, the column on the right, or the inner column, if you're looking at the translation or the transliter translation on the bottom, transliteration on the uh, English facing page. So it starts with a call in Yiddish, where we say Rabbi Sai Mirvelin Benchin, which means gentlemen, my masters, we're going to let's let's bench, let's recite the blessing after meals. That, of course, is in Yiddish. Now, back in, in Talmudic times, this would be said in Aramaic, Havlon v'nivrich, let us, let, 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 let's, uh, get, let's stop eating, let's get together, let's, let's recite the blessing. Uh, it was recited in Aramaic, that was the language people spoke. So when you're sitting at the table and you're eating and you're probably having conversation, uh, pro probably obviously of a, of a holy nature, but you would speak in Aramaic and uh, the people that spoke Aramaic, you'd, you'd call out in Aramaic, let's, let's start the benching and that, let's start the blessing after meal. Let's recite the blessing, the after blessing. Then, as the language switched to Yiddish, and that's the, langu that's, that's the uh, introduction that really stuck up to this point, even though today the um, majority of us eating maybe don't speak Yiddish, but nevertheless, it's something that stuck, which is that we recite it in, in Yiddish, Rabbi Sai Mirvel Benchen, our masters or gentlemen, let us recite the blessing after meal. So that's the first thing, and that's a call to people to stop eating, and now to pay attention and to recite the blessing together, right? There's no better way to, than, uh, to, to bless God than to do it in groups. And so when, when, when you hear the, the, the one who's leading the blessing say, Rabbi Yisai Mirvel and Benchen, so everybody responds with this verse, Yehi Shem Hashem Avayrach Me'atav Adaylam, right? May the name of God be blessed for all eternity. Then the leader responds again. He also says that because he wants to obviously be included. And it's not just the... Uh, those that are responding that bless God's name forever and ever, but so does the reader. And then he continues, he says, so he repeats those words, Yehi Shem Hashem if you can follow with my pointer here. And then he continues, Birshus, Maronon, Virabonon, Virabaisai, Nevarech. And in the parentheses, you see the word Elokeinu. So if you have 10 or more that are eating together, you would add the word Elokeinu, God's name. And this is in line with something that Talmud talks about that when there's a verse that says, Makele is is Hashem, that in groups we bless God. And in the temple, uh, depending on the size of the crowd, they would add different uh, additions to the blessing for which they would bless God. So we know in the synagogue, we say, Baruch Hashem HaMavayrach, bless God. It's a call by the chazan, by the leader, for everybody to bless God. And everybody says, Baruch Hashem HaMavayrach, similar to this language, um, right? So we're, we're, we're blessing God. The more people that you have, the greater... It, it, the, the greater the blessing is enhanced, and so therefore the blessing itself, uh, we, we make additions to that blessing. But in, in the blessing after meals, the, the way the, the practice is uh, now, after a number of 10, 
It just remains with in, introducing God's name into this, into this blessing. So the, reader, the leader essentially is, is asking permission from everybody else to lead the blessing, right? That's what happens in this line. And everybody responds after the leader says, let's, um, you know, with, with the permission of everybody, let's all bless God because we ate of his food. And everybody responds, Baruch Shachal Mishaloyu Vetubaycheinu, that we, uh, let's bless, blessed be the one whose food we ate and in whose goodness we live and we're sustained. Now, those who did not eat together with, with the people, they just happened to be there listening to this, what, what's going on. So they recite, Baruch Mavarach Shmai Tamid because they can't say those, bless the one who, with, uh, of whose food we, we ate because they didn't eat with them. They didn't eat with the group. So therefore, they recite a slightly different version. And then the reader concludes, Baruch Shachal and Mishala Yuktu Vechayinu, and, um, and uh, the blessing then continues um, from there. Let's...